Uh, yes, uh, though I have, um, uh, you know, uh, one or other way you can relate with the, any story. Uh, like if you take mine also, like the most importantly, when I started uh, working, as I have mentioned in my reflection also, I worked for more than two decades. So uh, that was uh, very difficult for me after taking a break. That was a tough time for me. So because my life was around my student in school and with my job only. So after that, when I had my baby, and, uh, when I had my baby, and that was a uh, break, I took, uh, took the break from my uh, job. So that was a time. So I, uh, how did I come up? You know, th that time I started because I had to come up because first of all, I have to come, uh, you know, my uh, physical, my health condition that was not helping me that time. So after that, I started thinking, how can I come back to my job once again? So for that, I started reading, first of all. I started uh, re uh, reading uh, whenever I get time to read from anywhere I could uh, read. And afterwards, I started finding out the avenues where I can go and uh, get into the job once again. So that was the one thing which I uh, which I wanted. That is why I was talking to my friend. That social service is very important in that way. So they are looking for the different options also where I can work also. I talked to some of the uh, organization also where I can work and as well as a training program. So the, this is the, the step I have taken to join this leadership program, though my baby is still very small and um, it's very difficult to tackle even for that uh, that hour. But, but I, because he's growing now, he's started going to school, I want to get into the job now. So this is the step. So this is, so, so the, all the story, so this was a difficult situation, I would say for me still, but I'm managing and I'm over, you know, and with the help of my family support, it's very important. Uh, my friend support, my family, it's very important. Uh, so th in this way, I'm coming up. And I hope okay, very soon I would be in job, inshallah. Yes, thank you very much. Wish you good luck, Fazia. And thank now you, next is Supriya to share. Um, hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, so today, um, the challenge, I mean, the stories, uh, three stories, I would say, one poem and uh, the inspirational quotes, what it was given uh, for today's challenge. It was um, really challenging. I mean, um, I, I, after a long time, I read the stories and then um, I, the most uh, beautiful thing, what I liked in the first story or the story which I could relate to my life or my work uh, life, I can say. Um, that was about the um, a carrot, an egg, and a cup of coffee. So I would try to relate it. Um, uh, one of my like incident, what had happened with me in the year two thousand five, I can say that was a year when I mean I was working in a school in Mumbai um, that is Swaminara and Gurukul. So there I was working as a uh, English and Math faculty for primary classes for grade fourth and sixth as well. And um, like I'm such a person, if something happens wrong, then I am very upfront to talk about it. That this is what, this is not right, this is wrong and all that. So like that, I, um, the situation had, was so that I could, uh, I had to answer uh, my director, madam, that if you had already taken the decision, then why did you ask for um, our opinion? And um, she felt a little bad about it because in front of everyone, I said, Late, later I realized that I should not have told her that. But uh, to that, I got a part <coughs> of um, an imposition. She took away my classes. I mean, I was a math uh, head of the department for all till grade seven. She took away everything in the next moment. Uh, she sent me to pre-primary. <laughs> That now you are, uh, you will be taking care of pre-primary. And at that time, hardly I was 25 years old because I was too early to uh, step into the teaching profession. And um, that was quite like, it was a shocking news for me that, oh my God, what happened? Where was my mistake? And that time it was like, uh, in Hindi, they said, Khun baut garam tha. I was damn young to like, you know, react for it, but uh, still... Uh, I was quite mum because um, that school was like uh, the same. It's a company school where my husband was working. So my husband requested me, kindly you keep quiet. And if you want to 
go and uh, continue your job you go back wherever they are asking you or else you leave then i decided no i will continue um for 15 20 days or a month it was tough time for me to uh, you know accept the thing that uh, and uh, always it was hunting me that it is uh, it was demotivating for me and i was taking it as a uh, like uh, it is a uh, kind of imposition on me that yes as you did mistake so this is the thing you have to bear now then um after two months i was in little kind of like trauma kind of then after that i took it as a challenge and i came out of it and then uh, before five years i mean like in the year uh, uh, 2018 i happened to visit the same school to i had some work there for my pf thing and i thanked a uh, director ma'am and even one of the teacher who had uh, like you know uh, did little loose talk for it for what i um, like went to that segment but i thanked ma'am that because of that situation i i could strengthen myself in pre primary i would not be uh, probably i would not be knowing how the things are happening i would not be having the interest in pre primary segment if i would not be sent there so i took it as a strength i i took it as a challenge and i like ch- um, adopt adopted that changes in me and though i like three months i suffered but yes end of the third month i could come out of it and um, then i could like uh, uh, as as it is mentioned in the story that uh, though the coffee bin is like boiled and then it is changing its color it's uh, like you know state from solid to liquid and then Uh, with the aroma again it is among everyone so today if i'm in front of you all and uh, i'm i mean I'm, i'm honored to be a leader and part of this leadership platform it's because of that so it's like thank you thank you supriya very nice very, very inspiring story and uh, i request the leaders to be little brief because you know we have less time now so narrate your story briefly now next is aisha irfan you are not audible aisha please unmute yourself oh sorry ma'am good evening uh, to all uh, actually i will will be very precise uh, when i have read all the five stories they all relate one and another with the relevance uh, which we have read uh, we have just understood about this uh, the first thing when i read in the morning the farmer and the donkey i felt this that uh, story was more closer to the re- uh, resilience but uh, after that again i got a break time then i read the second story then again i changed my thought that no that a cup of a coffee would be more suitable for the res- uh, resilience then later again when i read the yeah. next one coming back to this after the school i read the two other stories then that uh, egoistic and that what is that ma that uh, the two wolves story wolves, yes. that also related to this then it was a dilemma for me how can i decide which one could be the best one so that is again a resilience for me to wish to decide like i was not completely you know i have not written my reflection in the linkedin because i was uh, not getting time to type that whole thing but after reading i wrote everything on a piece of a paper then i was completely in a dilemma no i cannot decide which one is the better and all the three aspects goes on everyone's personality i feel when we are being the teachers or we being the leaders these three goes on every time one and another they come across in our life according to our age wise as uh, supriya ma'am also told that according to the age wise these resilience every time changes also okay we are not able to understand like at what situations what steps do we need to take so we definitely need, need the leaders like dr ram and dr hanim to understand that which situation we are going through so i am thank you thankful for today's uh, session also sir dr ram so it is more clear for me but we could not decide which is the best story that uh, can give the closer to it so thank you sir thank you hadi mama yeah even in much. singapore uh, the the government wanted to implement certain ways uh, but whenever it is possible they have to apply uh, practically acceptable thing 
the situation may not endorse with the correct way to follow yes. the guidelines or the rules. Sometimes you have to uh, define your way of performance, uh, whether it is practically applicable. Because if, even for crossing the signal, yes. if no vehicle, you can ensure yourself the safety uh, manner you have to cross. Safety. Yeah, but uh, yes. if it is required, then you have to follow the regulations. That's the way, just for an example. Thank you. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And now may I request Ajab to present her thoughts. Uh, good evening, everyone. So okay. with the stories that I read, I resonated most with the cup of uh, carrot, egg and coffee uh, because uh, I was on a seven month break. Uh, actually, uh, after school, after college ended, after my graduation, uh, uh, I did apply for my master's in a uh, in University of Hyderabad, but I did not make it through any of the three subjects. And even uh, B.E. results were out very late. So there was a seven month gap and I was home and everyone around me was, uh, they were working or they were studying. There was something going on in their lives and always being, you know, at school or, at, you know, it's always being at school so or college or busy. So that seven months was a very long time. And I think that time I was emotionally very drained out. Mentally also, I was becoming very restless, irritated. But um, maybe two months, yes, two months of those seven months was very tough for me to, you know, see everyone around me doing very well or going ahead. So in those, after that two months, I took out some time and I thought that maybe I should do something on my own. Then I, you know, enrolled for a course online. I did some reading. Then after that, for those five months, I kept on going on my own. And slowly, you know, the results were coming out. Uh, and then I had to, uh, then the process, then the process also for B. Ed began. So that way I felt that, uh, I, I felt that for resilience, it's very important that whatever the environment is, you should be mentally, physically, and emotionally strong and uh, uh, adapt yourself rather than you know taking or uh, rather than just getting stuck there so that is what i felt with the coffee bean story thank you ma'am thank you very much Ajay. and uh, now we have the last speaker as uh, sarita gomez miss sarita yes ma'am hi ma'am good evening good evening, good evening. So, so when so I will uh, my also I also read all the story. So here it says that how a young lady teaches a woman try so man feel that story. So I feel so I compare to myself. Being a self made woman in life, how you come out of responsibilities, you move ahead and you get at the situation and get the solution. So, this is how I probably look at this story towards me. This is what I wanted to tell you about. Thank you very much, Sarita. Thank you. We cannot uh, clearly Thank hear. You, ma'am. Yes, there was some. Uh, it was not audible at all. Oh, some network. Uh, your network 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 is there, Sarita. Side. So, um, Sarita said that she is a self-made lady and how she has overcome all the obstacles and okay. how she stands wherever she is today. That's really very really true. So thank you very much, all of you, for yes, sharing your stories. And uh, uh, resilience okay. is one thing that is uh, the most important quality, <laughs> the most important skill for the leaders. Yes. And, uh, the leaders, yeah. You yes, have, since you all have practiced, that's why you all are in the capacity of leadership. And today you are joining this course. What we have to do is that we have to enhance this skill. That's important. Okay, because it, oh, is nothing, it is nothing that once you have done and then you forget and you say that I have already shown my worth. You know, the, the memory of the no. is so short 
that whatever you have done yesterday, the people will forget. They want to see you today. What are you doing today? Right. So every day we have to remind ourselves that we have to show. True, ma'am. We have to be strong enough. We have to have uh, work with the principles. We have to live to our uh, ethics and principles. So that's the important uh, topic that we have taken today. Thank you, Dr. Ram, for being with us. And my dear teachers, since you all are associated with education, so don't forget that myself and Dr. Ram, our company is, and EduFam is going to organize a mega event in Dubai, and you all will be invited. So that just keep that in mind, okay? And whatever preparation you have to do for that, start doing for that, okay? Thank you very much, everyone. Take Fozia, care. Fazia, ma'am, has to. Fazia has to say something, ma'am. Yes, Fazia, what do you have to say? Where is Tazin today? Tazin didn't share, and now this Tazin is not sharing anything. Ma'am, you didn't ask me, ma'am. Tazin, ye masme mai hai ya kota dasti mein hai mahrumi. Jo khud, jo barke ko uthale hath mein mina usi ka hai. So this is open session. Yes, please go ahead, share your story. Okay, ma'am. The thing is, the same thing that I too relate with the story of a carrot and egg and a cup of coffee. And it is close to my resilience because it shows the different reactions to the same adversity or the same difficulty or a problem. As a coffee can change the whole environment, it is the same. The, our patience and humbleness can change the negativity of the society. So we can not resort to any uh, negativity or anything. Instead, we can be patient and humble and can change the society up and can adjust according to the given situations and the environment. And thus we can be in the same society. And the situations are changing through our, we can adapt to the situations and change the, our behavior and the thoughts according to the given situation. That's all. Yes, we have. Uh, Halima, do we have uh, two minutes? Yes, we have. I have uh, on Hindi Divas. I have one poem. It is not written by me, but uh, the beautiful poem I would like to share. I was waiting for you people at time of Hindi Divas Day. That was at uh, six thirty. So I was waiting, but you people didn't come. But anyway. Oh, actually Maybe uh, uh, that I don't know because I was very busy initially uh, because I didn't get time to check my WhatsApp, uh, Dr. Alima. Okay, no uh, problem. So, you can press no, no, no. I saw that, but by the time I could know the time gap that what time it should be at, by, um, I mean, in, uh, as per Indian time, I missed it. No, no. So, it uh, be, uh, I'm reciting this poem uh, on Hindi Divas. Aane Hindi, Shane Hindi. शब्दों की पहचान है हिंदी अंतर मन को जो सहला दे ऐसी प्यारी भाषा हिंदी राग है हिंदी ताल है हिंदी भावों की अभिव्यक्ति हिंदी सहज सरलता से सब बोले मेरी प्यारी भाषा हिंदी मान देश का शान देश की भारत का गौरव है हिंदी माँ के आंचल से लेकर कार्यालय की भाषा हिंदी मान मन के मन के भावों को सहला दे ऐसी प्यारी न्यारी हिंदी कह, कहने में संकोच नहीं है मेरी प्यारी भाषा हिंदी आप सभी को हिंदी दिवस पर बहुत बहुत बधाई एंड शुभकामनाएं वेरी ब्यूटीफुल आप सबको भी हिंदी दिवस की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और इसके साथ ही शुभ रात्रि शुभरात्रि 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 शुभरात्रि